catastrophic floods in the Palang State capital have not only affected humans but also displaced wildlife. Several video clips which went viral on 21st December showed a pair of Malayan tapirs roaming in floodwaters near Bukit Rangin Perdana here. The pair, believed to be an adult tapir with its offspring, a pair lost as they waded through the murky floodwaters before beating an escape upon realizing the presence of humans. According to the International Union of Conservation of Nature, the endangered Malayan tapir is native to Southeast Asia with only about 2,500 mature tapirs across Malaysia, Thailand, and Indonesia instead of living in their habitat. Why are they roaming around humans' areas? Shouldn't it be our responsibility to take care of our Malayan tapirs? The Malayan tapir contribute significantly to tropical ecosystem biodiversity. They are regarded as the umbrella species because they protect other animals and plants such as monkeys, deers, wildcats, and a wide range of reptiles and plants. Without Malayan tapirs, the rainforest life cycle will be disrupted and many species will perish as a result. Tapirs eat a wide array of seasonal fruits, making them seed disperser as well. When tapir eat the fruits, the seeds are defecated in various locations as they move around, helping to disseminate the seeds across the ecosystem. Tapir also contribute to the forest structure and diversity by shaping and maintaining it. Tapir are also known as forest gardeners as a habitat without them will inevitably collapse and face extinction. The tapir population is endangered due to a few reasons. First reason is due to an ongoing decline from loss of available habitat. In recent decades, Malaysia had one of the highest rates of deforestation in the world. Combined with a massive expansion of the road network, this has taken its toll on the unsuspecting tapir. When their habitats are encroached due to human selfishness, where should the tapir live? So, they will start roaming around the human area and easily become human targets which eventually lead them to an endangered life. The second reason is due to increasingly hunting pressure. Poaching and hunting tapirs for their meat and skin, especially baby tapirs, are on the rise as the baby tapirs' skin can be used to build drums. Besides, the current trend and demand for exotic pets is affecting the poor animal as tapir calves are cute and adorable. Hence, the tapir clubs become the target. When the calves are reducing, how are they going to mate and produce offspring? So, how could we possibly save this creature from the age of extinction? According to Wildlife and National Park Department Per Hilitan Director General Dr. Abdul Qadir Abdul Hashim, it is convincible to reverse the decrease of the Malayan tapir population, but pragmatic action must be made. The first is to protect tapir habitats, raise public awareness, improve research and development, and increase enforcement, notably in dismantling jungle snares. At places like Sungai Dusun Wildlife Conservation Center, Malaysia is currently conducting specific tapir conservation programs which consists of tapir rescue missions for injured and lost tapirs, as well as university-based research, nevertheless establishing protected places such as national parks and forest reserves. Another measure would be to implement tighter wildlife protection legislation. Per Hilitan is working to alter the Wildlife Conservation Act 2010, Act 716, to enforce harsher penalties, including prohibition of wildlife cybercrime, joint enforcement programs such as Operasi Bersebadu Kazana, OBK, according to Abdul Qadir, would continue to function to combat animal exploitation and smuggling. The Malayan tapir goes extinct, our future generation will not be able to see it in action and may not even have the opportunity to learn more about it. It would be a pity to lose yet another rare and valuable species. Before Malayan tapir goes extinct, let's work hand in hand to safeguard this precious landmark of ours, as it is no use crying over spilled milk.